So some of these asteroids, of course, do make it, or chunks of asteroids, bits of stuff, do make it to Earth. And here is an example of one that is actually just an artist's conception. It's not only an artist's conception, right. it's Patrick's conception. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it kind of looks like that, but um, we'll, we'll see something a little bit more realistic later on. So most of the time, the Earth is bombarded and uh, by uh, fragments of uh, comets, you know, little pieces and, and uh, fragments of asteroids, as Dr. Stanley was saying. And uh, 90, 90 to 95% of them burn up in the atmosphere and never reach the ground. But on uh, December 18th, a uh, fragment of a, a large piece of a uh, asteroid, actually a fragment of asteroid, entered the Earth's atmosphere over the Bering Sea, and it exploded with quite fury. But was only detected by military satellites, so that information was passed on to NASA for investigation. But it took them a while to figure out where this air burst occurred. I mean, actually occurred the actual location. They knew it was somewhere over the Bering Sea, um, actually closer to Russia coast than, than the American coast. And um, a, a researcher from the University of Western uh, Ontario uh, took a look at results from uh, instruments uh, that can measure um, infrasound, which is uh, a sound wave that's uh, below 20 hertz, so below what a subwoofer can produce, because subwoofers produce very low frequency sounds between from 20 hertz up to about 200 hertz. And from this, he was able to get a detection, there it is, and also from over 16 other infrasound detectors showing the actual shot wave, this is the low frequency sound, that was uh, detected from it. And from that, he could actually put together the size of the, uh, the airburst and also the, um, the size of the, uh, of the meteor. And with that, um, he went back and uh, and said, are there any images that we can uh, see of this uh, actual uh, impact, because since no one saw it. So uh, he went to uh, take a look at some images from the Himawari uh, satellite, which is uh, the weather satellite from the Japan um, uh, Weather Agency. And in this image, this is kind of the, um, an infrared image. And then in the next image, there it is. Yeah, like Even furthermore, um, there were color images. This satellite takes images every every few minutes and you can actually see uh, the, uh, the, the uh, fireball enter the Earth's atmosphere and uh, it kind of superheated the air and left that orange uh, trail and also a dusty dark trail. And you can also see uh, the shadow because it, 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 was, it came over uh, when the sun was setting um, at that time. So with all this information, uh, we, the, the, uh, the impact was um, 173 kilotons, which is roughly about 10 <coughs> times the atomic bomb that was dropped on uh, Hiroshima in Japan. And so that's huge. Um, also, it weighed about 1,500 tons, approximately, and 30 feet in diameter. And disintegrated at about 16 uh, miles above the Earth's surface. And initially traveling at 72,000 miles per hour, which is uh, twice as fast as normal meters as they enter the Earth's atmosphere. And at a very sharp angle, about seven degrees um, from vertical. Now NASA does keep a website and, uh, of all the impacts. And here are the, all the impacts from uh, 1988 through to um, March of, uh, of this year. And the largest ones, uh, well, the largest one of all um, in, during this period was the one that occurred in 2013, which was Charlie Bintz. And that was 440 uh, kilotons. Here's the most recent one, uh, 173 kilotons. And then there's all these small impacts. It seems like the large ones have um, happened over well, Russia. <laughs> so. what it, how prescient you are, because <laughs> shall I go ahead? Yes, yeah. indeed. This was March 15th. And uh, you can hear the, uh, someone was speaking Russian there. So that happened over Siberia. It was over this area called uh, Tura. And there's the other one, um, in December 18th, Bering Sea. And uh, Tunguska, of course, was the largest um, explosion ever recorded over that region. Oh, this one. Uh, this is taken from the space station. And so of, of a meter actually entering um, the Earth's atmosphere, which is a very rare sight because we always see them from the ground. And that's a really fasc fascinating sight there. 
that a burst or a camera flare? <clears throat> that oh. was a burst. Was a burst. Yes. And of course, uh, probably some of you saw this headline of something bursting apparently in the <clears throat> air over Los Angeles. We have a break video to show you what it actually is. So that's a teaser for break. <laughs> 